Okay, this one is a bit challenging because it's the first time we're going to be using objects to loop instead of... Oh, actually, we're going to be using arrays as well. But it's really... It's, it's tricky to count the number of letters in a paragraph or the number of repetitions of a letter in a paragraph. Um, because we, we have to loop every single letter, you know? So that would be the first challenge. You know, the first challenge, um, if you think about it, if we are, let me open here a whiteboard. If we have a bunch of letters, so let's say that I have, um, okay, so I have, um, hello how are you you know that's my string and then and then um we want to count the number of letters so we want to loop them all that's the first thing so you want to have something like this you want to have an array that contains the letter h comma the letter e comma the letter l comma the letter the other letter l comma the o comma what about the white spaces you want to ignore them right that's not a letter so you remove the white spaces the letter h the letter o w a r e y o u and then you close your array so that's what we want we want to convert from from that to this like from this to this and how do we do that with code there's a function uh thank god actually there's several ways of doing it I, i'll see if i can show all of them because it's interesting um so after we have something like this then we want to actually loop each letter and count every time we find one so one way of doing that would be for example to declare an array with the same amount of letters, let's say, uh, let me just duplicate that one, the same amount. Actually, that wouldn't work, no. Let me show you the first one that I already know and then I can think about others. Um, so the first way I would do it is by having an object that I, I, an object will be something like, let's say const or let, doesn't really matter, um, repetitions repetitions it's equal to nothing right at the beginning I just declared as an empty object and then I start I start with the first one so I found an H so that's the first repetition of H so I will put here inside the object I will put H I find one okay what else then I found an E and then I'll say okay is there any E's here? No. Okay, so then E1. An object with E1. And is there any L's? Nope, not yet. Right? So L1. Is there any else? Yes. So instead of adding one, I will just change this like that. I will just put this here too. That's, that's uh, I think it's the most optimal approach of the, or the optimal approach because objects will be very easy to retrieve the, the letters uh, back again. Let me show you in code. So there it is, count, you see? And if I wanna loop, uh, the first thing is to transform, right? The array, the, the string into an array so that I can loop it uh, quickly. And I can do that by doing, um, let array of letters and then I'll say um, uh, par dot split and I don't pass any characters because the split function is allows you to split up a, um, a string by specifying a character so it's very useful for example when you have a bunch of values separated by comma then you split by comma and it will give you every value separated. Or in this case, if I just put an empty string like this, like an actual space bar, it will give me all the words. Look, if I print now array of letters and I print it, 
it's gonna give me all the words like that an array with every single word because it split them but if I don't put anything in the split and I just put an empty an empty uh, character or nothing an empty nothing because it's not even a space bar and I run it you'll see that it's giving me every single letter and there they are but the problem is that I don't want the spaces either you know so how do you remove the spaces I think I don't really remember but I'm gonna try uh, I think it's let's say par without space it's equal to par dot replace and then I have to specify here uh, which character I want to replace the space bar and with what with just emptiness and then let's try again right I'm just gonna do here now I'm gonna split par without without spaces instead of the original part to see if it has or it doesn't have spaces one two three it still has spaces right so I'm just gonna google it for now how to uh, remove spaces from string JS when you're googling always please uh, add the language because if not you're gonna be having um, results for other type other types of languages like Python or something um, so here's the question exactly what I wanted and here's the answer maybe but I'm just gonna get into it because I want to show you how to how I look for questions in Stack Overflow so of course you have to read the question but please go straight to the answer and start looking at this maybe is saying this person well let's say let's see I'm just gonna copy it you cannot just copy and paste you have to read and understand so here in this case I, I need to put a let because the person didn't put the let and also this little weird thing here I, that's a regular expression don't worry about that yet I'm just gonna put par here and pars with par without letters here and see if it works now with that yeah no spaces look no spaces at all so it, it I was able to remove spaces with quotes like this okay now that I have my my um, my array of letters I just have to loop it you know and every time I loop it I'll say let's say four four let i equal to zero as long as i is less than my array of letters dot length like we did we've been doing in all the other exercises and then i plus plus and inside i'm gonna say if i'm gonna apply the logic that we discussed here so i'm gonna say if repetitions contains the letter that i'm that i'm looping right now if it contains it i will add i will convert one into two so i would add one to the number if not then I will uh, just add the letter into repetitions you know so how do you do that with code you'll do something like if counts in the position in the position uh, letter that I don't have the letter here because I, I have the position that I'm at but I don't want that I want the actual letter you know I want L not the position zero so I would have to say here const letter it's equal to array of letters in the position i because I'm looping every single letter you know so I'm just putting here if counting letter it's equal to undefined that means count so the object counts doesn't have the letter property and then I can put here that I wanted to make to make it one because that's the first repetition else if it's not undefined it means it's probably already set up by uh, by a number one or number two in a previous iteration so I'm just gonna say whatever you were just add one to it. you know whatever you were just add one to eat and then we'll see what count is at the end so there it is look you have the letter L it's one the letter O is six times the R is 14 times and basically that's it I'm gonna stay a little bit longer to explain a little bit more because I know this one is different from the last ones um, and actually I think I overcomplicated myself with this maybe we don't even have to do this you know maybe we can just do and I'll try I'll try maybe we can do like this for for let uh, I in par and let me loop that and see what happens you know let's see I'm just gonna comment this 
one as well. Okay. Console.log i. And let's see. Um, what's the problem? The semicolon, maybe? Oh no, I put I put if it's i. Okay. I may run it and see what happens. I'm gonna comment this console log as well. I just wanna see this console log here. So one, two, three. It's giving me positions. So that's good. It's giving the position of every letter. So that's good. Yeah, maybe if I actually say const letter, it's equal to par in the position i, and then I print letter, it's gonna give me the letter, you know? Maybe, let's see. Yeah, here they are, look, every single letter. So that's good, I definitely overcomplicated myself here. Um, but now that I have the letter, I can say if, if the letter is equal to a space bar, then I wanna ignore it, you know? I just wanna continue. The word continue is super cool because it allows you to, to, to continue to the next position. You, you stop here, you stop the loop. You don't stop the loop entirely, you just jump one iteration up. So I will be, if it was one, it will be just magically will become two right away and you don't have to care about the rest of the iteration in the position one. You will just go straight to two. And then here I'll say else, you know, and, and I'll say uh, what I was saying already here. Like if else, if counts letter, so if the object counts, let me print it like this so that you can see. Um, yeah, let's print it like that. Const.log counts. And let's see what, what we get on the on the command line. I'm gonna remove this console. Oh no, actually, let me, let me leave it there. Okay, one, two, three. Uh, I have a compilation error maybe. Else if counts, counts plus plus count. Ah, yeah, I put cartoons and it counts. Okay, there it is. So look, this is what we found. We found, yeah, that's crazy. Look at this, that's crazy, yeah. Because look what's happening. So it's counting every letter, right? And it's finding an L, but there was no other L in the, in the string so far, right? Because it's the first letter, so of course, there's nothing else. Um, actually, I'm gonna put here, else, um, no, I'm gonna put here inside. I'm gonna make this several lines. When you have a condition, if you if you don't open the curly bracket like I had it before, then that condition is gonna be a one line condition, and you can you don't have to open and close the curly brackets. But if you want to have several lines, you're gonna have to um, open and close, and then have the several lines. So I'm gonna say here, console.log, console.log, found letter for the first time you know yeah let's see one two three so look look found l for the first time then found o for the first time found r for the first time and it keeps going then it finds m and it doesn't say that it's for the first time you see because it was already found here so every time that it finds it for the first time, it will get into this if. How do you know it for the first time? Because counts doesn't have uh, the letter, the, the the letter in the position, uh, the counts in the position of the letter. It's undefined. And then how do you know what what happens else? Else means that it was already defined, so it already found it once. So so found letter more than once and I'm gonna just put here letter equal counting the position letter equal to whatever it was plus one and I can remove all of these now and you'll see let's test it again and look it says here here found L found L R E M I P and then it says Found M more than once. So it's the first that's the first letter that was found more than once. So that means that whatever it was that counts had there, it was probably just one because it was the first time that it found M, and this is the second time that it's finding it. It's gonna become one plus one because it was already one, because it was already 
found the first time. So the first time is one plus one is two now, and then it keeps going. You know, it's three, four, depending on how many times M is found. And then at the end, you have the entire list of letters. But what about the lowercase and the uppercase? That's a tricky thing because the letter L should be the same as this letter L. You know, so what you do is that you will you will make sure that letter it's always lowercase. You know, two lower case. That way you don't have to bother. You'll see how now L will combine with this L and it will become six. Let's try it. What happens to lower case? It says to lower case is not a function. Lower I I miss the R my bad. So let's try again. There it is. Look, L is six now. You see what I was saying? Before it was six plus one. Uh, six and one time in, uh, at the bottom and there was a one at the capital L. And now it's all together. So that's one way of doing it. Uh, there's other ways, but I think I already spent 15 minutes in this one. So I think this one is the most explicit one as well. So I don't want to overcomplicate it again. So I'm just going to leave it as it is.